FastKey's Text Expander saves a lot of time by using short abbreviations instead of typing longer, frequently used phrases. You can use Conditional Macro to step up the automation to even higher levels. Let's say I'm writing the note to my client and I'm using a manual text input macro to enter their age. For the cases where the person is over 50, I want to add this additional paragraph. I'll select the note, go to Automation menu and select Condition, If Macro. I first need to name the macro. And here I need to specify the condition. I can use any expression, very simple, just like an Excel formula, for instance. If the condition is true, then the paragraph will be added. If not, it'll be skipped. I can also select this button to quickly add variables, additional ones, like I'll be able to use the input age variable, which was used to input the age information. So I'll enter input age is larger than 50. OK. You see the part is now enclosed by the if end structure, which means that it'll be optional. Let's try it out. Typing the abbreviation, I'll enter the age, 55, enter. See, the extra part was inserted because the condition was met. The client is older than 50. Let's do another one. 30 years old, OK. Yep. In this case, the condition was not met, so the part was excluded. Now here's another idea. I'm using a selection form macro to select the client's name and gender information. The output text should be different based on the person's gender. I'll use the conditional macro again with the condition select gender. is male. This is a text, so I need to enclose it in quotes. And again, it's the same as Excel formulas. This time, I will add the part of the text that will be shown if the client is a woman. So the condition is not meant. So I'll select the condition else from the menu. You see? You can use the if-else structure as you like. It's very flexible. Let's see. Let's see another example. I want to change the greeting at the beginning of my response according to the time of day. I'll select three dots button to see what's available. Under variables, I'll choose this a hour variable, which represents the current hour. If the hour is less than 12, should trigger good morning, else good afternoon. That's it for this short video. It'll mean a lot to us if you could subscribe to our channel so you don't miss similar content. Thank you for that. And did I do a good job on the voiceover? Well, I'm actually primarily a public speaking skills coach. So if you'd like to improve your presentation skills, check me out at publicdynamics.com. Thanks and take care.